Oh, man. Oh. That was me playing Batman Arkham Shadow, the combat challenge. I gotta get my glasses on so I can see. Ah. Oh man, my muscles are hurting. Ah oh, man, Batman Arkham Shadow. This is a game that just came out for VR pretty recently. Uh, I think it was only a couple weeks ago. I think I bought this game about a week ago or so. Yeah, I think I bought it a week ago. I already finished it because I was having a lot of fun with this game. A lot of fun. Can you see? Oh man, I am sweating. I did the combat challenge twice. That's it. That's all I recorded. Batman Arkham Shadow. Let me, I'm going to tell you what. Phenomenal game. I'm, I'm absolutely, I've absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Man, my muscles are actually genuinely hurting right now um, from the exertion that I was putting into the game. Like, this is... If you guys, if anybody, if any of you guys have seen my video on Assassin's Creed Nexus VR, this is, this is like that. Like, this is like an actual real game in VR. This is not just like a tech demo. It's not just like a, uh, you know, like a theme park ride or a, um, like a, like a, a an indie game or anything. This is an, this is a Batman Arkham game in VR. And like, it's not just an Arkham, like it's not just, cause like they have Batman Arkham VR. And that was like, I mean, that was more of a glorified, that was a tech demo. That was basically a tech demo. And like, this is the game, like, this game is like, basically take something the size of Batman Arkham Asylum and play that in VR. Like you've got predator missions. Um, you've got combat encounters. Like they do not shy away from any of these. And on top of that, the combat, like all the combat stuff and everything is like, um, you know, like I can even show you what I was doing or some, some of what I was doing earlier. Like it is like physical exertion. Like you're throwing all the punches and they have, they have these, uh, the, uh, some, you know, they've got yellow targets and everything like that. Um, they basically show you how to like what you're supposed to do. And then, um, and so you, uh, so as you're doing it, you're doing your free flow and everything like that. Um, you know, you still have the stun batons that you have to uh, jump over and um, you know, you've got the shields that you have to do the, uh, the cape stun and then you have to jump on top of them. And so you, you have, like, instead of like, just like hitting buttons or whatever, like, um, you know, for the stun baton, you just push forward on the right stick and then you jump over the guy and then you physically punch him in the back um, or like the, the, the stunning. Um, you know, you, you, you actually, like, you actually do that, right? Uh, you, you take the trigger, um, on the control. So if you're, like, holding it like, like this, you know, I've got the, I got the strap so I can hold it without holding it. But then you, you take the trigger, and then you, you pull down the trigger, and that's how you hold your cape, is with the trigger. And then you, and then it'll stun them. And then, um, but instead of doing, like, the beat down, you actually have to physically punch them really fast. Um, but, like, it's... Like, it is actually fun. Like, if this is the game that actually does make you feel like Batman. Um, you know, the Predator missions are a lot of fun. Unfortunately, there's only three challenges per, uh, for the uh, Predator challenges and the combat challenges. There's only three challenges. And the combat challenges are really easy. Um, I played in normal difficulty. Um, and I was able to get those three bats really easy, really quickly. Uh, first try, basically, really. Um, so, I mean, you know, and uh, like, a, like a lot of the, um, like when you start off playing, it's not the most, like, it's easy to make mistakes pretty easily. Uh, of course you're, um, but as you're, as you, you know, do it more and more, it gets easier to get the hang of it. Like when you hit a combo, you can um, press B on your controller. So this is the right controller and it is the top button on the right controller. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, B, because uh, most, most of the stuff is on, the, is gonna be on the right controller. Um, so, so you, you know, when you, when you jump, you, you flick the right stick up and then you hit B, um, if you, when you want to activate a combo, you hit B and then, um, you'll have the, it'll have a yellow symbol instead of, so you'll have like a white, uh, you have a white fist normally to punch a guy. Um, when you, when you see that, you know that when you throw a punch, it'll hit the guy, you'll hit, you'll, you'll attack, you'll actually hit the guy. Um, when it's yellow, 
then you, uh, you're, it's about to start the combo. And then you, you hit him, and then you punch up, and then you slam both fists down. But like, like basically, all, all of these things that you normally do with like a button press or a couple button presses or whatever. Um, like I know uh, a really common um, combo that I use in the Arkham games is XY um, for a, a takedown. Um, but like you have to actually do the actions instead. And I think um, with what they did with Batman Arkham, uh, Batman Arkham Shadows, is they, they actually did a great job translating the Batman Arkham experience into VR. And this is fantastic. I absolutely love this. Um, you know, I got my MetaQuest 3 earlier this year, and, the, and Batman Arkham Shadow is exclusive to the Quest 3 and 3S, which just came out recently. Like, I think what Meta's, like, I think Meta's trying to get people into VR, and they're doing that by making, like, they, by bringing in big IPs and making good games. And, like, like, comparatively, as a game, comparatively, right, if I kind of just separate out the, the VR stuff, I just put that to the side for a second, and I say, okay, as a game, as a game game, how does this compare? Um, I would say it compares a little bit more to Arkham Asylum, maybe a little bit uh, smaller, a little bit smaller scale, I think. Um, you, you get to roam around Blackgate, that's where most of the game takes place, is in Blackgate, over the course of many days. So unlike most, all the other Arkham games take place on, uh, during one night, but um, this game takes place over the course of a week. Um, and so by the day, by day you'll, uh, you'll, play by, you'll play Matches Malone, which is um, the uh, criminal disguise of Bruce Wayne. Uh, and then by night, you're Batman. Uh, so you'll, you'll start off in Gotham City um, with some story stuff. And then you go in undercover as, um, as a, a criminal, and then you go, you're in the Blackgate. And so you've got some stuff in Blackgate, and then you've got your nighttime stuff. And it is a bit small. I, feel, I do feel like it's a bit smaller scale uh, than Arkham Asylum was. And, you know, to me, like, oh, I think some of these games are kind of like early to mid-2000s. Like, like, level of gaming, they're like early to mid-2000s kind of style. Like modern days, modern day games, we have really big, like with big open worlds, and then we've got like all this stuff going on, really great graphics and everything like that. You can't really pull that off in VR quite yet. Like, oh, like it takes a lot of processing power. Um, the the chipsets aren't quite as powerful as something like the PS5 or uh, PCs can tend to be. Um, so they have to do like, so like the graphics and everything like that, we were looking at like PS3 level graphics. We we're looking at um, uh, smaller scale and uh, more contained uh, games. And they're gonna be smaller games, right? Like, um, like this one I think, probably about 10 hours worth, I think. Um, which for a VR game, that's good. That's, that's pretty standard. Uh, I think for like, let's say Spider-Man 2, I probably put in, probably about, I think to 100% complete the game, I put in 25 hours. Um, that's like a, like a, that's like a 2023 superhero game, about 23 hours. So this is about half the time. I mean, granted, for Arkham Asylum, for goodness sake, I probably can easily get that done in like 10 hours, like eight to 10 hours, pretty easily. I can get that, I can get that put down. So like, it's not like much shorter. It's not like half the time of an Arkham game, which I mean, granted, uh, let's see here. Cause if, it, if it's eight hours, for Arkham Asylum, so it's about, yeah, about the same size as Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum is a pretty small, contained, short story. Um, but it's, like, it's about that, which is, it's not terrible. It's not like you're playing, you know, 60 hours in the game, which for a VR game is a lot. I tell you, like, it's a lot, because, like, I was only able to put in, like, hour, hour and a half, tops two-hour sessions. Two reasons. Number one, muscles hurt. <laughs> like, like I was telling you at the beginning of the video, like my muscles ache, you know, like, like I've, I've, you know, I'm put, I'm put it in, um, effort when I'm throwing those punches and my muscles hurt afterwards. Um, you know, and then also the battery dies pretty quickly, you know, um, battery lasts maybe about two hours ish. Um, and then I'm also getting hot and sweaty. Um, I've been keeping my apartment pretty cool, uh, so that I can, I've been, you know, taking off my flannel and to, so I'm like, to, to a level that where I'm like, I'm like pretty, I'm a bit chilly, um, but like as I'm doing it, you know, it keeps me from really sweating a lot because I'm, 
Uh, I've got my apartment to a level that's uh, kind of cooling me down, so I'm not being like overheated and everything like that. Um, but like you know, it's like I think I think um, even even though my muscles were hurting, like I was probably putting in maybe two or three sessions a day. Um, kind of depending, like I think over the weekend, I think I put in most of the time uh, over this last weekend. Um, so like it was late, uh, and it was uh, Veterans Day weekend. So I've got I had Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I could put in like two, three sessions um, for each day because I had, um, you know, and like, so I, it, I'd take breaks and then um, I'd, I'd jump back in. Let the headset charge up and everything like that and I'd jump back in. And um, yeah, so I, and I finished the whole game within about a week. And um, yeah, because like, like every time I was thinking about, I was, I was like, I was like, I was, like, what, I was like, what do I want to do? I was like, well, yeah, my muscles kind of hurt. I should probably do something else. But I'm like, yeah, but I kind of want to go back into Batman Arkham Shadows. Like, really pl and play the game again. Um, it's fun. It is fun. Because you, you get to play as Batman. And that's, like, it's an Arkham game. It's a new Arkham game. Like, it has all the labyrinth style. Um, you've got all the puzzles. You've got the tool progression. Um, it is a bit buggy. I will say that. It, the game is um, decently buggy. Um, at times where like you, you might do something and it might be a little bit too fast and it doesn't register or um, something doesn't register quite right. You might do a motion and then it's like, oh, you hit wrong direction. Um, I think the biggest problem I had was um, when you had like vents up high and you pull down the vents and then you, um, and then you, you go up into them or you try to go up into them and then you're, you're, the model is just like, well, I can't fit in there. And it's like, what? How? Like, like it, some weird, sometimes your, your model uh, does weird things and, you know, moves in weird ways or whatever. Um, and I think there was a uh, point in time, I don't know if I had this recorded, uh, where, like, character models just kind of clipped through each other and whatnot. And things looked a little janky and whatnot. Um, but to me, like, like PS3 era games on, on a, in VR is really awesome because, like, when I started playing in VR back in 2020 when I got my Oculus Quest, the best, like, the best games, like, all the games everybody was talking about were, like, Beat Saber. That's an arcade -y game, right? You've got uh, Super Hot VR, uh, kind of arcade -y, uh indie game, very, very short, like, four or five hours or something like that. Um, the, the Oculus Quest came with Vader and Mortal, which was very much an arcade -y experience type game where like if you're for combat you just stood in one place and then you, you know you battled and everything like that i also will say um for anybody who's not super familiar with all of the vr uh some of the newer vr games um with this and assassin's creed nexus these are like the two biggest games i've played um since getting my quest 3. um at least the two big notable games um they have different comfort level settings so if you get motion sickness, like the, like when you're turning, they'll have vignettes, um, like because you know, like if the idea of like swinging around, you know, like zip lining, you know, you use the bat, um, you know, you're you're grapple, you you grapple to gargoyles, um, hanging down or like gliding and everything like that. If that that could trigger motion sickness, and they've got different things um, to help with that. I don't use any of that because I don't particularly need it um you know i was i've i've been doing vr enough that um i guess my body and my brain have gotten used to um all the motion and everything like that so um i've been able to, I, I, I did all the everything i've recorded has all been in the most immersive version of the game um where it doesn't do any any weird camera tricks or anything like that to kind of um, reduce that motion sickness i go full immersion mode uh full easy um like smooth turning um and like the gliding and everything like that i'll fall from places um i have no problem with any of that uh, even in assassin's creed Nex nexus uh it was fun just like you know pulling out the uh the hidden blade and then just you know jumping down and then stabbing people it is great fun great fun and um just like assassin's creed nexus i, I am really pleased with this game um, really glad I ended up buying it. And if you are, if you've got a Meta Quest three, and are looking at, at Batman Arkham Shadows, and like I don't know, like if you like Batman 
Like, if you like the Arkham series, if you like the Arkham games, this is the game to get. If you have, like, if you don't have, like, a MetaQuest 3 or 3S already, I don't really, like, that's, that is kind of like an up-to-you kind of thing. Do you want to spend the five, three to five hundred dollars to get Batman Arkham Shadows? That is up to you. Um, I do know that they are, I think, as of, as of right now, they are selling um, it packed in. Batman Arkham Shadows is packed in with the Quest 3. So, like, you don't even have to buy the game. Like, you should be able to get it in um, with, the, with the purchase of the Quest 3. Um, but, like, if you've already got a Quest 3, like, Batman Arkham Shadows is a phenomenal game. I think I'm kind of starting to make a mental list of, like, video game, like, video games that are, like, actual video games in VR. Um, I've, I've played a few uh, games. Some of them, like um, Horizon, uh, Call of the Mountain, are a bit more arcadey with it just having, like, just hands. Um, but, like, that, that was fun. But, like, the PSVR 2 wasn't all that f great. I didn't really care for that at all. Um, and that was, you know, some of, so a, lot of game, a lot of VR games are just a bit more arcadey, um, for lack of a better word. Um, there is Asgard's Wrath. I still haven't really gone through and played Asgard's Wrath. Mostly just because I'm intimidated by the sheer size of the game because those are like full-fledged RPGs. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, you know, but like, as far as like games made to, f like specifically for standalone VR for the quests, I'm making a mental list. And, and especially because the, the, the big IPs, right? Batman Arkham, Assassin's Creed big IPs and this is just this has been awesome I've had a lot of fun with it the predator challenges are fun um, you know the the combat challenges are fun um, decently easy enough I think uh, I haven't tried playing the game at all in hard mode and I haven't really gone through and started trying to collect all the collectibles not entirely sure if I want to do that uh, I do find collecting collectibles to be quite tedious so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back in and do that. I might, cause like I'm just, I might just be like, wow, I just, yeah, I kind of want to play some Batman Arkham VR. Um, so there's that. But like, I got, I, you know, it's got some flaws to it. But overall, like, you know, um, just praises all around. You know, it's, it is, it's a great game. It's a fun game. It is a game. Like, it's a, it's a VR game. That, it's the type of VR game that we've been wanting. For, I mean, ever since we, we, we knew about VR, like it's, this is the kind of game that I've wanted to play in VR since forever. Since before I ever played Batman Arkham Asylum for the first time. Because I had a he VR headset before I ever played Batman Arkham Asylum. Believe it or not, I have. But like, this, this is the type of, like this, Assassin's Creed Nexus, these are the games that I've been waiting for. I am really happy that Meta has been funding this because I don't think if I don't, I don't think that the, any of these companies, any of these studios, would be making these games if they weren't being funded by Meta, who has just absurd amounts of money, and they're trying to get people to buy the Meta Quest Three. Um, which, hey, you know what? It worked on me. I wanted to play Assassin's Creed Nexus, so I bought a I bought the headset for it. And now they've got Assassin's Creed Shadows. I am excited to see what kind of games they have they come out next with next and see what other kinds of VR games, actual games that come out again um, in the near future because uh, I'll be excited to play it. So um, if you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for sticking around. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles.